teaching children about their community and neighborhood. Does your community have important landmarks, statues, and monuments? If so, it's important that young children have opportunities to learn about these and their significance. Including photographs and images of these in your classrooms are just one way that children can learn about them. Having an opportunity to visit and then write, draw, or dictate stories about their experiences will make the learning so much more meaningful and fun. Does your community have fountains, rivers, ponds, lakes, and other bodies of water? If so, these can be highlighted throughout your classroom so children can have experiences learning about these. What types of businesses and buildings are located in your community? And how do the children in your classroom know about these? Do you allow children opportunities to learn about and demonstrate their knowledge regarding their neighborhood and their community? What types of activities are available in your community that children and families can engage in for learning and fun? Do you discuss these? Do your little ones have opportunities to experience these activities? And if so, do you allow them to talk about their experiences or teach other children about these activities? Are there opportunities for young children to participate in sports? And how does your community support sporting events? How can you include these in your classroom? Some physical characteristics of a community are man-made. These include public services that are offered to the community and its residents. How do the children in your classroom know about the physical characteristics of their community? Geographical characteristics of a community include landforms, types of soil, vegetation, and animal life. Hopefully, you've learned a little more about some interesting and fun ways you can incorporate learning experiences about the community in which your children live. Now it's time to explore your community and neighborhood and have some fun. <laughs>